At its gathering on Monday, October 30th, town meeting approved all 15 articles on the warrant without any changes. Article 3, which suggested an allocation of $30,000 to remedy traffic issues at Kendrick and 3rd Avenue, was withdrawn by the select board. Debates ensued over articles concerning the adoption of a new energy code and a potential zoning change, ultimately leading to their passage. Municipal producer Yu Xiao Huan has the report. Not only did town meeting members hold differing views on Article 15 and 16, but so did the Select Board and Finance Committee, the only two bodies required to present their stance on the town meeting floor. The Select Board viewed the adoption of the specialized stretch code as a response to the town meeting's call for climate action. In 2021, town meeting passed a resolution recommending the Select Board declare a climate and ecological emergency and take steps to reduce the town's carbon footprint. Although I'm part of the select board that had an aversion to the word emergency, the select board understood the direction from town meeting clearly, and we have prioritized climate projects. The new code will affect constructions permitted after July 1, 2024, establishing pre-wiring and solar panel requirements for buildings powered by fossil fuels, along with net zero requirements for larger homes. Select board chair Marin Cooley contested the finance committee's position on postponing the adoption stating approximately 45 to 50 new permits will be issued between now and spring. Those homes, depending on builder, may or may not be future-proof. While there's consensus on the need to address climate change, disagreement persisted on whether the adoption is premature due to timing and costs. Finance Committee Chair Louis Miller referred to a recent report by the state climate chief identifying gaps in the state's climate policies including areas like funding, capital investment, and workforce. There are currently discussions at the state level of the amount of infrastructure maintenance and improvements that need to be made and to which infrastructure. Miller emphasized the report recommends a cost analysis by the end of 2024, which she believes should be reviewed before the adoption. We need time to ask questions, receive data, analyze the data, and determine what is best for Needham. Town meeting members express divided sentiments. I do feel that future study is needed. Time to act for climate change was yesterday. Town meeting members presented studies from both sides to illustrate costs. Precinct Def member Alison Borelli referred to a report by the Home Builders and Remodelers Association of Massachusetts, which estimates a 1.8 to 3.8 percent increase in construction costs. They concluded that without additional incentives or financial supports, the more stringent building requirements will likely push home ownership out of reach for many more families in Massachusetts. Climate Action Plan Committee Chair Stephen Freil cited data collected by Build Environmental Plus, which states 81 percent houses reported less than 1 percent cost increase for net zero ready. The argument that we can't do this because of costs is false. It is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Article 16 sought feedback from town meeting on whether the town should pursue a zoning change for the purchase of a piece of open space on the Foster property. Town meeting approved borrowing $2.5 million for the purchase last fall, which is tied to Northland Residential's plan to develop the other half of the property for 70 townhouse units, with 5% designated as affordable. However, this hit a roadblock when the state deemed 5% is insufficient for a 40B project, necessitating a zoning change. Zoning is one of the more time-consuming things that we do. Therefore, the select board is asking a question. Do you want us to prioritize a zoning effort that we had not planned for this year? The Finance Committee considered the article, quote, inappropriate, unnecessary, and unprecedented. No other action from town meeting is required at this time. It is now up to the developer, Northland, and the property owners to do their part to actually bind themselves to written agreements and to take their proposal for zoning changes to the planning board. Concerns focused on the development density and its effect on the neighboring area, traffic, and Charles River water quality. A motion to amend the removed specific unit count and increased affordable housing to 12.5 percent failed. Many town meeting members highlighted the benefits of riverfront meadowland access 
Some also expressed a preference for a project with affordable housing rather than around 20 large single-family houses allowed under current zoning. Town meeting also approved new fines for non-criminal dispositions using a three-tier fine system. The select board called this a housekeeping article, which consolidated violations and penalties into one table, previously scattered across the bylaw texts. Uh, we are not interested in fining anyone. We are only interested in deterring the behavior. But in order to do that, people need to understand what is prohibited, and they need to understand what the consequences would be. The article passed after clarifications on certain violations. One town meeting member, however, considers some penalties to be too harsh. Uh, the changes sometimes seem pretty draconian. He gave an example of the fines for the restraint of dogs which increased to $300 per offense from $25 for the first offense. Article 2 proposed using $400,000 of the Boston Children's Hospital Fund for two two-year term positions to address youth mental health. Both the select board and the finance committee recommended adoption, with the finance committee noting inflation needs to be addressed to retain these positions and services in the future. These are annual payments of $200,000 they are not indexed to inflation, so it's a flat $200,000. In response to the town meeting member's question, Select Board Vice Chair Kevin King clarified future funds are not restricted to mental health, but can be used for other youth health needs as they arise. For Needham Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.